Today we're going to be talking about writing scales. So, for the basic theory exam, you'll be asked to write these type of scales that we're just going to do a little bit of it or discuss a few of them. Okay, the first one here is G minor natural form in the treble clef. Okay, and usually it'll say to use whole notes, and that's what we're going to use. So G minor, you're getting asked a minor question. Right, so the first thing you want to do whenever you get asked a minor question, so here's G minor, we're going to climb out. We're going to then find who it's related to. So we're going to step one, two, three. That's where we landed. And remember, the letter from the major to the minor and the minor to the major has to be three. So it has to be B something. So therefore, because it landed there, it's B flat major. So who's, what does B-flat major have in its key signature? So, battle ends. We say one more word to the rhyme. So we're going to write that in. Battle ends. Now we go back to the question. G minor. So, let's start on G. You're going to write eight notes up, because you're going to write a full octave. D, E, F, G. And then, of course, back down, D, C, B, A, G. Okay, do not skip any lines or spaces because these scales are diatonic. That means a different letter. So there can be no repeated letters on a major minor scale. So now, the rest of it, natural form. Well, natural form means there are no raises. We're just going to follow the key signature and see now that would be correct. Next question could be, B minor melodic in the bass clef. So, again, we're in the mines, so we have to take that extra step. Okay, so we're at B, B minor. All right, we have to climb out, one, two, three. So B minor is related to D major. So now, because there's no flat in the name, we are going to look for what? We're going to look for sharps. So what comes before D in the alphabet? C. So we're going to say the rhyme, Father Charles Stop. So then let's start writing. F, remember they always start on the line. C. Let's go back to the question. B. So let's start writing. Start on B, and I'll give it enough space in case you have to write in accidentals. G, A, B, and come back down. E. D, C, B. Now, melodic. What does melodic mean? Melodic means, it's to a minor scale, it means that the sixth and seventh note notes are raised on the ascend and we lower them again on the descend. So that's what melodic means. And I always tell students to think of melody change. See, melodic, melody change. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Raise the sixth. Make sure it's not in the key signature. That's a G and it's Father Charles, so that key signature didn't affect that note, so we, we just have to raise it with a sharp, because how do we raise? We raise with sharps. And the seventh happened to be a sharp. Now, because there's the melody change, we need to lower them again. So we're going to, we lower with a natural. That means to cancel it. So that's how it would be played on the descend. We'll just do one more in the major. A major in the treble clef. Okay, so A major. Well, actually, we'll just do that quickly. A major, we know we're looking for sharps. What comes before A? Father Charles goes. All right. And then you would start on A, and you just write up and down. And that's all you'd have to do for major. But let's take a look at a harmonic one. Okay, because that would be another one. F minor harmonic. We have to remember what is, we're getting asked a minor question. We need to climb up. Here's F. One, two, three. So it can't be G sharp. Why? Because it's only two letter names for each other. So it has to be three. It has to be A flat major. What's in the key signature for A flat major? Let's do the, the flat rhyme. Battle ends and down. So let's start writing. 
battle, ends, and down. Start on F, let's go F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and of course back down again. I'm just writing it in quickly, you'll write it in neater. What does harmonic mean? Harmonic means that the seventh note is raised. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and obviously the one right beside the last note. It has to be raised. Now, this is a G. Let's see if it's in the key signature. Battle ends and down. It's not. So, how do we raise the G? We need to put a sharp in front of it because sharps raise the note. All right, so F, G, A, B, C, D. Oh, wait a minute, C. Oh my goodness gracious me. Ha ha, see how mistakes happen? Have to check your work. It's in the treble clef and it's F. This is F, G, A, B, C, D, E. E flat is in the key signature. How do you raise a note that is a flat? We cancel it by making it a natural. Now for harmonic, we play the same note. Uh, it doesn't change. We play it the same way, going up as we do going down. Only in melodic, think of melody change. We raise the sixth and the seventh, and we have to bring them back down. That's the melody change. And majors, of course, are written the same as going up as they are coming down. So like we are saying, we're listening to the Mozart effect. Maybe I should have listened a little longer before I started today, but I'm going to read a little excerpt, just like we do. Just interesting facts. Okay, we were talking about how it makes you smarter. Well, over a five-day period, one group listened to the original Mozart sonata, another to silence, and another to mixed sounds, such as, you know, dance piece or something different other than the Mozart. The research, researchers reported that the, all three groups improved their scores from day one to day two, but the Mozart group's patterns recognition soared 62% compared to 14% for the silence group and 11% for the mixed group. The Mozart group continued to achieve the highest scores on subsequent days. Right? So I guess they're, also, they're saying in plain English, uh, it can improve your concentration. It can enhance your ability to make intuitive leaps and not incidentally shave a few strokes off your golf game. Huh. So that's just listening to this type of music, Baroque era, classical music. I think that all would fit into that. But now we're going to listen to some more of this music and while you watch some flashcards. So see you soon. <laughs> 